To seize this moment, we have to use technology to open up our democracy. Good evening. Rap news is back this week on the back of yet another massive leaking, which lays bare and paints a clear picture of the actual dealings and reality of Operation Iraqi Freedom. It's been seven years of that illegal invasion, which has claimed a million Iraqi people. The leaping toll of casualties and images from Abu Ghraib, rape, kidnappings, beatings, as hawks now have their eyes fixed on Iran. We analyze the man behind that original plan and these very events presenting our first guest, Donald Rumsfeld, Secretary of Offense. Mr. Rumsfeld, Hi there. welcome down to the station. In light of this revelation, how do you feel now about the invasion? This is a no information and it was liberation. Iraqis are now free to play soccer and PlayStation. What about Abu Ghraib and the allegations, not just of humiliation, but of savage raping? My actual statement is the military and the killing scene is at liberty to blow off a little steam. If you Remember, the Iraqis had WMD. Doesn't it trouble you that you failed to find any? Well, steady, I never said Iraq had weapons, you know. Yes, you did. You said that exact fact a second ago. You know, there's things we know and things we don't know. And the knowns we know we know are known as known knowns. Things we know we don't know, which are known as no-nos among the knowns, and the no-nos we know go with the don't-nos. I don't know. Intelligence was distorted and cynical, scorned and ridiculed, support for your war was minimal. Won't history judge you as a war criminal? Well, write the books. They won't be at all critical. This interview's over. General? Get him, boys. Hey, ow! 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 Take him away. He's pitiful. With pleasure. Now to shut rap news down forever. All right, kill the live feed. Bring the live feed. This is News World Order. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Resuming entirely regular broadcasts of news for unbiased, fair, broad, and balanced views. Now, my first guest is a true American hero. Donald? Bill, good to finally get on a real show. So how's the United States of Iraq in the last quarter? Well, our crack forces hand-in-hand hand with Blackwater have forged ahead, creating an idyllic state that will hand over to whoever's left at the end. The number of people in the Middle East opposed to democracy has swiftly decreased. Yeah, by like a million at least since 2003. That's a million more people who are now blissfully in peace. And WikiLeaks? Bill, please, don't get me started on those frickin' cyber geeks. What gets me is these hippies keep criticizing the military when the military keeps them living free from tyranny, terrorists, and nuclear bomb threats. They seem to have a military-industrial complex. And this Julian Assange makes his foolish demands as the blood of Afghanis pulls in his hands. A lot of people are saying he's ruled by his glands, that he kidnapped schoolgirls and abused him in Iceland. But now, a word from our sponsor. We'll be back pretty fast with the former secretary of kicking ass. Why see shades of gray? Why be alone? Try another Soma. Soma! That's good, shut up. All right, we're back in the nose spine zone. News World Order, live in your mobile home. So rough. Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning. Man, I'm glad we grabbed him. We're gonna black bag and tag and pack that homo away. Let's see him hack his way out of Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, yeah, you know what you ought to do. Enhanced interrogation. Wait, there's a problem with my auto cue. What's that? Sorry, Bill, we have to interrupt. It just says you've been wanked. Stupid thing is stuck. Wank, you say? I remember that from the NASA days. Bill, we've been hacked, I'm afraid. Hacked? Fuck! We'll do it live! It sucks! Do it live! Wait, only one man would use slang this way. It has to be Julian Assange. Do that. Gentlemen, hey? I couldn't help noticing you mentioned my name. Assange, how the hell did you get in the frame? A simple hack. You left the back door open again. Well, hack off your hands, leave you rolling in pain. I thought we controlled this whole station. Our signal's being jammed from an undisclosed location. You're telling me we can't even get that fag? Well, he's somewhere north, south, east, or west of Baghdad. Bill O'Reilly, for dangerous defiance of reason and betrayal of journalism, I now try you for treason. Shut up! You just leak crap! You're dead! I think you'll find it's you that leaks crap and is dead. Oh, what's happening to his head? It's leaking every single bit of crap he's ever said. Well, I'll get you, Assange, and your little sight, too. But a thousand other sights will creep up behind you. I'm an avalanche. 
They didn't stand a chance against my battle plans. Robert, here, have your channel back. Apologies for the appalling violence. Julian, you look different. These days I can afford a stylist. Now the enemies of truth will cower before the avenging arse angel and my brutal power. With the hammer of Tor, I will leap forth, crush the imposter. I couldn't agree more. Ah! What's going on here? I think you know. Is that Julian Assange? Yes, it is. Hello. <laughs> Look at his hair. Everyone knows it's white. This isn't Assange, it's some loser with low lights. Now get out of here, you fake Assange. It's time for me to leak the true fate of Atlantis. No, it's time to see who the heck this is. Terence Moonseed. Yeah, you pesky kids. Well, I think it's time to end this session. It seems journalism's become a dangerous profession, risking ostracism, extradition to provide a clear picture of the world we live in. But without truth, history will certainly repeat the same wars in this time of universal deceit. Telling the truth has become a revolutionary act. So let us salute those who disclose the necessary facts.